For as long as I've played video games, I don't think I've ever heard the term, oh, I've had enough rip and tear. And it looks like Pet Project Games are on the same thought because they've made a brand new first person horror shooting demon blow everything up game called Rip Out. It's your typical tropey goodness, they try to make super soldiers and surprise surprise it all went horribly wrong. And this is where you come along, you end up on their derelict space station and guess what, it's filled to the brim with monsters that just want to munch every single limb that you have. And your task is a highly deep intrusive one that will tease and twist your mind like no other story driven game before. Because your task is to simply murder everything. And I'm okay with this, because these games are your Friday night specials, the ones where you're finished work, you've had an argument with Kevin for the third time this week, and so you put his face on every single enemy that you come into action against. And away you go, blasting Kevin in cathartic action, and it feels good, and it's simple, and it's easy to absorb. And just like all Friday night shenanigans, it's always better with friends, and this is exactly what it does, because it allows you to play with up to four people. You'll be pleased to hear there's an absolute bucket load of weapons that you can use to blow away all your enemies. We'll get onto those a little bit later. But one of the more iconic ones I want to talk about right now is the living pet weapon or the LPW. And it's literally as bonkers as it sounds. It's a gun that fires a pet at other creatures. And what it does in a nutshell is absorb tech and abilities from other enemies. So you can absorb like shields and plasma and all their little upgrades that they have and then use them to upgrade your own system. And I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but this weapon is absolutely terrifying. The creature is hideous. It looks like it's come out of the thing. So currently it's in pre-alpha and in terms of gameplay, it is as simple as we've mentioned. It's a co-op horror. You play with your friends, you shoot tons of enemies, you get upgrades, you continue, and I guess you finish the story when you kill the big bad at the end of the game. So the game mentions that it's got quite a unique enemy system. So if you've got two enemies, they can actually merge together and adapt to give you a different kind of enemy that you have to fight and beat. Now I don't know if this actually happens immediately or if the fact is you just get to a level and you see that they've merged and then you speculate behind that but nonetheless it does sound cool and it is one of their title bragging points. If you're a fan of Alien Isolation's kind of advanced 80s tech then I think you'll probably enjoy this as well. It's not the same speed by any kind of means but it does have that kind of imagery in the trailer. However I will say that the trailer has been heavily filtered and have got all sorts of effects applied to it which isn't necessarily a bad thing because it really does aid to the atmosphere but it doesn't give you a full picture of what's going on. That being said, the texturization in this looks absolutely amazing and considering everyone's talking about graphics at the moment, especially with Wukong just being released and you've also got Unreal 5 around the corner, they've done a pretty good job. The textures on the enemies look really fleshy and gross and more importantly, the first person view, the weapons themselves, they look really cool. Beefy, meaty, alien grinding machines. Now, in terms of weaponry, because I know a lot of you would be like, well, tell us, Tom, what, what are we shooting everything with? So, so far, I've seen your typical melee weapon. So there's an axe, there's a pistol, there is a big rocket launcher kind of thing, there's a rail cannon I saw, there's also a submachine gun, there's the pet gun, which we talked about earlier. But what I also thought was pretty cool is there seems to be a secondary weapon system. So you have your main handgun and then there's also something in your left hand. And I know I'm speculating here, but I think these are the kind of things you get with the pet gun. So um, one of them was a big alien claw thing that looked like it shot acid at the enemies. And then in the screenshot, there's like a little alien round gooey ball thing and I, I maybe it's an alien grenade I don't know maybe it's a health kit or something but it looked like a throwable item the game also brags lots of customization to fit the playstyle that you want I'm all for this Doom did an absolute great job of this I hope they've taken a few pages out of that book I love being able to adapt my playstyle be it I want to you know go for that nice close combat shotgun style or just rocket launchers or even playing the sniper game but aside that, this is all the information I have for you at the moment. It is a pretty cool looking game from the trailer. As I say, there's lots of vibes from John Carpenter's thing. 
And I'm probably very biased when it comes to that because I absolutely love John Carpenter's thing. It set up such a precedent for great alien horror. And I know this is kind of your run and gun, shoot everything game, but I'm hoping it still kind of gets to give some of those vibes that, you know, put children behind the sofa carrying away because they stood up too late and decided to watch this movie now if you are chomping at the bit to play something like this then i can recommend checking out gtfo and there's also the new alien fire team game that is coming out on the 28th of august i believe that you can look into but that's it for me i'll be back with more news and reviews soon there's lots to talk about at the moment so yeah have a good one ta-ta and take care